G'day traders, just a quick one for you guys today about the inbuilt session variables and how to use them to analyze pre-market price action. None of the material in this video is financial advice. You should always do your own research and due diligence before engaging in trading or investing and please seek professional guidance if you need it. So this is a question from a student of our PineScript mastery course. They asked if I've written a script to detect when the pre-market opens above the previous day's high or low and get alerted when this happens. I haven't written a script like this before, but I knocked one together really quickly for this video lesson because I thought it was an interesting question and a good way to display some session-based analysis techniques. So here we can see that uh, this green background is the pre-market before the official stock market trading begins. This red line is our previous day's high. This bar opened above that previous day's high in the pre-market and we are generating a signal here which will trigger an alert if we come up here and select our script and select um, the corresponding alert condition. And then the way the script is written is it will only detect a breakout on the very first bar of the pre-market. So if you select that setting in the script, then every day that trading begins on the uh, markets you're trading, the watch list you have, this alert will fire whenever the market opens above the previous day's high in the pre-market or below the previous day's low in the pre-market. So this bar open below, we get this red symbol and we trigger an alert. So let's have a quick look at the code to break down the script. It's pretty simple. There's um, a few lines here, but but it's actually quite simple. So what we're doing is just a regular indicator here. We get the previous day's high and low using our non-repainting security function. I don't know if repainting matters in this particular case, but I'm just in a habit of using this non-repainting code. Um, I simply copy and pasted this code from this lesson here, uh, my uh, daily breakout indicator lesson. If we come down here, um, the code was already written out here. So I just copied this code over here and then um, here is where we detect our breakouts. So we're just checking, is this the first bar of a new trading session? And is this bar in the pre-market? So session dot is pre-market will return true if the current bar is part of the pre-market trading and is first bar will return true if this is the first bar of the day's trading session. Now this will return true even if we're not in the pre-market. So if I, if I turn pre-market trading off in my settings here, if I change this to regular trading hours, um, the very first bar would be true. This condition would be true. So that's why we need to check both, that this is the first bar of a new trading session and we are in the pre-market and the current bars open is greater than the previous day's high. Pretty simple, uh, same for the bearish. We're checking, are we in the pre-market? Is this the very first bar of the uh, new day's trading? And are we opening below the previous day's low? That's it. And then we have some code here to trigger alerts. So this one will fire an alert for both. This will only fire an alert for bullish breakouts. This one will only fire for bearish breakouts. So you can differentiate between the two if you need to. If you want to trigger for both, you just click this one and click create. And then we have some drawing code. We're just plotting the previous day's high and low, um, these red and green lines. And we are plotting a shape when the signal is detected and we're highlighting the pre-market. This, you don't really need this. I was just doing this to make it clear what the pre-market color was. The pre-market color by default is this orangey color. Um, and there you have it. There's a script that is detecting a open in the pre-market above the previous day's high or low uh, to give you a heads up that today might be a breakout day. If you'd like to learn more about PineScript, check out our website. I have a completely free six hour PineScript basics course there, which explains the core fundamentals of Pine. And if you want to take your coding skills to the next level, check out my mastery course. We have over 50 hours of content and 50 plus five star reviews and growing. The PineScript mastery course also comes with support where I can help answer any questions you have about PineScript coding. And of course, there's tons of free content on my YouTube channel. So if you're new to PineScript, go and check that out too. I hope you found this lesson interesting. Good luck with your trading and I'll speak with you in the next one. Take care guys.